The pandemic is gaining momentum in Gauteng province. And that's the critical message I would like to send on behalf of the Gauteng provincial government, that the pandemic is gaining momentum uh, in Gauteng province. And we've got to face this reality head on. Uh, and where there's no compliance, uh, we would like to send a very strong message out there to our communities, uh, to workplaces, that this completely will undo any gains we had made uh, during the lockdown, especially during the full lockdown, those 34 days where we made significant gains, uh, and, and the 31 additional 31 days where we also were able to slow down the pandemic. So we are at 7,953 cases uh, confirmed, and we do a breakdown. How many of these cases are in Johannesburg? 2,399 Johannesburg. 989 are in Ekuruleni. 614 are in Tswane. 112 are in Sidibeng, 436 are in the West Rand, uh, and the others uh, have not been allocated over the last uh, uh, 24 hours. They will be allocated to the relevant regions uh, in the next uh, day or so. The issue of alcohol, uh, we the point we are making is that uh, the cumulative impact of it is something we can see uh, that some of the wards, especially the, the wards in the trauma units, uh, that we were, we were happy that those uh, wards, those beds are available, those wards were empty. Some of those wards are now filling up. Uh, we, we are deeply concerned about this. Uh, when the discussion takes place at the National Command Council on this, uh, there's no doubt that we will share the experience of the, of the Eastern Cape. We will say that uh, we are deeply concerned uh, about this. We have not yet made come to the decision uh, as the Provincial Command Council. We are not yet there. We haven't yet come to the decision that says that uh, alcohol should be completely banned. We, we basically just dealing with the effects of it. We will uh, reflect uh, fully. MEC Masuku is now doing a, a report on a weekly basis around the impact of uh, the sale of alcohol on our healthcare facilities. We would like to approach this matter from the point of view of evidence. Uh, not emotional. Uh, we don't want to have a remo an emotional relationship with, with this. And July is a critical month for us. Uh, all modeling that is done by, at a national level and at a provincial level indicates that July is a critical month for us. It is a critical month. We should have, uh, be able to have additional beds as we, we move to August and September, which is anticipated as the peak. As Houghton province, we, we are at a point where we are inviting uh, additional support, what we call reinforcement. Uh, we, we have been working very, very closely with the National Department of Health and, the, and our, our president on all the issues. They have given us lots of support so far. Uh, but you can see that uh, the provinces where the cases are increasing, the Western Cape, uh, the Eastern Cape, uh, those provinces need additional support, as uh, has been said. We are saying that uh, we, we, want to, we want to be proactive as Houghton province. As, so reinforcement is, yes, we have support, but we need additional support, including the deployment of those high-caliber teams, uh, the high-caliber teams that have been deployed uh, to the Western Cape and the Eastern Cape, uh, teams of, uh, uh, of specialists. Uh, in addition to the resources, I think the resource issue is what every province would obviously make a case for. Uh, but 
we are ready to receive support. If there is a province that doesn't want support, we are ready to receive support.